Afterwards, by Thomas Hardy is a reflective poem that contemplates mortality, the passage of time, and the legacy one leaves behind. Written in the first person, the poem explores how the speaker hopes to be remembered after death. Hardy uses vivid imagery and natural elements to underscore the themes of transience and remembrance. The poem is structured around a series of conditional statements, each beginning with, when, to frame the time after the speaker's death. This structure reinforces the inevitability of mortality and the continuity of life. The poem opens with the speaker imagining how people will react when he is no longer alive, when the present has latched its postern behind my tremulous stay. The postern, a small gate, symbolizes the passage from life to death, and tremulous stay suggests the frailty of life. The speaker wonders if others will remember him as someone who is keenly aware of the natural world, noticing the evening and the full starred heavens. The second stanza shifts focus to springtime, with its renewal and growth. The speaker hopes that those who come after him will recall how he delighted in nature, particularly, the May month flaps its glad green leaves like wings. The imagery of spring represents rebirth and continuity, highlighting the cycle of life that persists beyond individual mortality. In the third stanza, Hardy contemplates the speaker's sensitivity to the small, often overlooked details of life. If I pass during some nocturnal blackness, mothy and warm. The reference to nocturnal blackness evokes the mystery and finality of death. The speaker hopes to be remembered as someone who noticed the tiny lawn flowers and was attuned to the subtleties of the natural world. The fourth stanza delves into the speaker's awareness of human activities and their impact on nature. If, when hearing that I have been stilled at last, they stand at the door. The speaker imagines people recognizing his appreciation for the West and its sunsets. The stanza suggests a connection between the speaker's sensitivity to the environment and a broader awareness of the world around him. The final stanza brings a sense of closure and acceptance. If, when the birds mention the presence of dawn, they shall say. The speaker hopes to be remembered as someone who lived with an acute awareness of the passage of time and the beauty of fleeting moments. The poem concludes with a serene acceptance of death and a hope for a legacy of appreciation for the natural world. Throughout, afterwards, Hardy uses detailed and evocative imagery to convey the speaker's deep connection to the natural world and the transient nature of life. The poem reflects a peaceful acceptance of mortality, emphasizing the desire to be remembered for one's sensitivity to and appreciation of the beauty around us. It is a meditation on the impermanence of life and the enduring impact of how we engage with the world and its wonders.